Are they really trying to bring back Prohibition? Let's have a look. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Hope you've had a good few days. This has just come to my attention. Now police are investigating vicious, cowardly St Kilda foreshore assaults. These are happening down in Melbourne. There's a gang problem in Melbourne from a lot of African youths. If you want to find out more, have a look at my freedom map. Scroll down to Melbourne and look at all the gang violence that's happening there. And I've still got a whole heap I have to add. Let's have a look at this article from the ABC. Police are looking for a group of 15, uh, 10 to 15 youths responsible for two ugly and vicious robberies at the busy St Kilda Foreshore in Melbourne South on Thursday night. So this is just recent. Oh, another one I need to add to the freedom map. Investigations, investigators sorry, are examining if a metal or wooden pole was used in the assaults. Police said the offenders in both attacks were perceived to be of African appearance. Local council has been asked to reintroduce an alcohol ban on the St Kilda foreshore. So, because you've got these gangs here causing violence, unable to deal with alcohol responsibly, they're going to ruin it for everyone else. How often do you go to the park? You know, we had a barbecue today. How often do you go to the barbecue, open up a cider, a nice, refreshing, cool apple cider, pear cider. Can you tell it's been a hot day in Brisbane today? Or you go and have a beer with a barbecue. Or if you want to walk along the foreshore, sit down and have a drink. Nope, not anymore. Police said two men were punched and one had a bottle smashed over his head in separate unprovoked assaults. So these are two assaults, two more to add. Great. In the first attack, a man had his mobile phone stolen and was left uh, swollen on his face. In the second, a 25-year-old man received cuts to his face and head and was treated by ambulance officers. There's also a recent attack gang bashing that happened to a chef too in Melbourne, just recently. And there's an election. <laughs> there's an election in Melbourne and the Labour government that's saying there's no crime problem down there, or no gang problem down there, is poised to win. How? How is this possible? If you're from Melbourne, if you're from Victoria, please tell me how. How? 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 I'm, I'm just reading about this all the time. It's crazy. Detective Sergeant David Schaffer condemned the assaults. These attacks are quite cowardly and vicious, unprovoked, and really an ugly event that actually occurs in a normal, peaceful location where people frequently enjoy themselves, he said. The attacks happened on Jacka Boulevard at about 10 p.m., so not that late at night, and police said they were investigating whether offenders may have used either a metal or wooden pole. Bloody hell. So this isn't like, this is, you know, you go out, you have a few drinks, you're invincible, blokes might, you know, punch on, something happens, you know, just fisticuffs. This is grabbing a metal pole or a weapon and swinging at someone. This is another level. This is premeditated going out there for violence call for an alcohol ban we're looking for a group of males of african appearance africa oh, fucking hell why, why are they anyway which we believe were congregating along the foreshore last night he said we can't speculate as to the numbers involved but on the second assault there was anywhere up to around 10 people who were involved in that second robbery detective schaefer said Police said the victims had been enjoying themselves, enjoying the sights of the I iconic St. Kilda Foreshore. The first victim just decided to walk down and enjoy the scenes, and the second was visiting a friend down there when he had been accosted by the group. So this is going to make people avoid the St. Kilda Foreshore. This is what we're getting to. We're, we're getting to parts of the city now that are too dangerous for law-abiding, normal people to go. Victorian Police Inspector Jason Kelly said he was very disappointed in what he could. Well, of course he is. Unfortunately, we've had a large group of youth att attend, and the combination of youth, alcohol, and public place just simply doesn't mix. Oh, come on. He said alcohol at the iconic beach location was a recipe for disaster. Ban the alcohol. Because you know what will happen. They'll ban the alcohol, and they'll just sneak it in. Okay? They'll, a ban for alcohol 
won't stop these people. If they're running around with metal bars and wooden battens to bash people and rob them, do you think they're going to give a damn about an alcohol ban? No. I, I remember when I was younger, we'd sneak alcohol into nightclubs to save money because it's damn expensive. It was banned. You weren't allowed to do it. Do you think it stopped people? No, it didn't. It didn't. And I'm not, I'm not uh, encouraging anyone to do that. No. Pay the proper amount of alcohol. Don't just because you can get it cheaper yourself anyway. Um, I don't do that anymore. I don't even go out anymore. <laughs> I think I went clubbing four years ago, and all the nightclubs I knew were closed down. So Inspector Kelly said, "Please for calling for a full ban of alcohol. So for everyone, why don't you just ban people of African appearance from having alcohol on the St Kilda foreshore? You know, maybe that might work." Maybe it's a bit bloody racist and unfair. Maybe that'll force all the people's parents and other members of the community to put pressure on these young idiots for taking something away that they'd enjoy. You know, after working hard, go in there and some young punks ruin it for you. I don't know, guys. Um, I think this is just a sign of how bad it is getting in Melbourne. This is just some footage of them walking around. That, you know, St Kilda Foreshore can't even be enjoyed anymore and they're taking alcohol away i remember australia we are uh, for overseas viewers we are a hell of a nanny state here there's so much you cannot do in australia it is insane i remember going to hong kong going to a local 7-eleven or whatever it was called buying beer and just walking along the streets drinking can't do that here not at all the police will nab you and get you so guys thank you for joining me for this episode of highs it says please like share and subscribe and I will see you all again next time. Let me know what you think about the alcohol ban. Would it work? Would it not work? Would you respect it? See you later. Bye for now.